Hi. Welcome to today's story session. The title of the story today we are going to see is Girisha from the Hills. The story is written by Nazia Jabi. Illustrations are done by Memun Hussain. And the translator of the story is Rose Larsen. Room to Read is the publisher of this story. Girisha is a little girl who lives in a small village in the hills. Her house is next to the waterfalls. She wakes up to the crows of roosters. Rooster. Another name for this cock is called rooster. And there was a small village situated in the hills, which was near to the waterfalls. And this girl, Girisha, lived in that small village. This cock in the morning makes a sound to wake all of us. So this Girisha, she also wakes up so early when the cock makes the noise. Girisha loves to be outside. Every day she runs from hill to hill and dances with the clouds. The girl Girisha loves to be outside. She always wanders from one hill to the other hill. And since the hill is so tall and it is near to the sky, the clouds comes near to Girisha and she loves to dance also. So when she is dancing, others think, oh, even the clouds are dancing with her, is it? All the birds and animals are her friends. She spends her days playing and singing with them. The birds and the animals in the hill are Girisha's best friends. She always plays and sings with them throughout the day. One afternoon, Girisha sits outside her house making white flower garlands when an elephant approaches the village. Wild flower meaning the flowers which grows from a seed which are not seeded with any particular purpose. So when sometimes the birds fly on top of the field and it drops some seeds on the fields and from that seeds some plants grows and the flower blossoms from that plants and those flowers are called wild flowers. So wild flowers are flowers which are not seeded with any purpose. Garland meaning many flowers tied together with a string in a circle is called as a garland. Can you all see in the picture? This one is the garland. One day in the afternoon, when Girisha was sitting outside her house and making some garlands, an elephant came inside the village. The villagers run in every direction. Run! The elephant is going to trample us cries her neighbor. Trample meaning 
crushing under the feet is called trample. All the villagers got panicked seeing the elephant inside the village. They all ran here and there in every direction. One of Girisha's neighbors were also present at that place when the elephant came inside. So they saw Girisha and they got afraid that the elephant might trample her. So they asked her to run. Girisha isn't afraid though. She has an idea. Can you please bring me a bunch of bananas? She asks her father. Even after hearing the warning from her neighbor, Girisha was not afraid. Instead, she thought of an idea. To execute that idea, she asked her father to bring a bunch of bananas. Girisha approaches the elephant and tosses the bananas to him. The elephant eats them up quickly. He was simply hungry. Now, Girisha and the elephant are friends. Toss, meaning throwing something in the air carelessly and then catching it, is called tossing. Girisha took the bananas from her father and tossed them to the elephant. The elephant was so hungry. So seeing the bananas, it finished them quickly. So it was so hungry that it had come inside the village. And after finishing the bananas, both Girisha and the elephant became thick friends. Everyone in the village is surprised at Girisha's bravery. Seeing Girisha's bravery, all the villagers were stunned. The elephant happily showers some water upon Girisha. They both started playing. It showered some water on Girisha as though she is taking bath in the bathroom on the showers. She gives her flower garland to the elephant and he goes back into the deep forest. After they both finished playing, Girisha gave the flower garland which she had made to the elephant. And the elephant returns back to the forest because its hunger got satisfied. The village is saved. Drums start beating at the edge of the falls. Everyone dances with joy and celebrates Girisha's bravery. All the villagers were so happy that they all got saved because of Girisha's bravery. They all started celebrating that by beating the drums and dancing for the beats and they all enjoyed happily. Bye. Thank you. Difficult words. Rooster, a cock. Garland, a circle of flowers. Wild flower, a flower blossoming from a seed which is not seeded with purpose. Toss, throwing something casually. Trample, crushed under. Try this. How do you appreciate Girisha's bravery? Do you all think that you are also brave like Girisha?